My name's Lloyd Dobbs, I'm the Training and Opportunities Manager at Goodwin Development Trust in Hull. So today we've launched uh, the Parade 94 Cantina Mental Health Safe Space, which is a, a, it's been a two year piece of work really, working with our partners Hull City Council. Uh, we secured some funding from the Department of Health and Social Care to renovate our cafe, mm -hmm. renovate this room to make a one-to-one -one, uh, consultation room so we could provide a safe space for people with low level mental health issues such as anxiety and depression to come present themselves and be supported by a, a rotated mental health first aider that day. So we've, been, we've uh, sort of announced it today, we've had all our partners there, we've had some young people around, been really good, we did some Tai Chi, we taught people through what mental health first aid is and some of the other offers that we can give people such as doing Tai Chi classes, mindfulness, art sessions, just to try and enrich their lives and help them manage with their condition. Yes, yeah, so today I spoke myself as the project lead. Uh, we had Mike Scott, who runs our Building Better Opportunities mm -hmm. project, uh, which is a social inclusion project, and he was speaking about the importance of getting outside, doing like gardening allotment work, and all that's positive for your mental health, and also how Tai Chi can help mental health, and he delivered the session. Our work at Goodwin, we work in all sorts of areas, housing, uh, youth work, children's centres. My team, the training team, we work with young people 16 to 29 usually. Mm. And put it this way, last year we worked with about 100 people on the Do It programme. And there was about 60 odd percent of those was either diagnosed or, or self-declared that they had a mental health issue health issues such as anxiety and depression. So that's almost like a little bit of a microcosm of what's going on in the, the UK at the moment. Mm. Young people are struggling, whether it's what's going on at home, poor experiences in school, society itself, there's lots of pressure, social media, there's lots of things going on. And especially if you're unemployed as well, you feel you might feel hopeless, low in confidence. So if we've got, we can offer the training and we can also offer this, it helps them retain and stay in training. It helps them stay in on the positive opportunities. If we didn't have this sort of these sort of spaces, the probably people could drop off and then end up making their mental health become more more of an issue for them really.